Alright folks, welcome back to Hapes or Games. Today, a special video, I'm actually going to mod the Dreamcast and we're going to do the GDEMU mod, which is the SD card mod for the Dreamcast. And that allows you to play games off an SD card as opposed to using the actual GD ROM drive. Now, since I've picked this up, mine is still reading discs. Well, on occasion I have noted there's a couple of games that are not reading correctly. So the laser is deteriorating and rather than wait, I said, I'll just take the drive out now, react and uh, install this mod. So what do you need for the mod? He might ask me. Well, you obviously need a Dreamcast first, okay? Specifically, this is a modification for the PAL console. It, it needs to be one PAL E for, in order for this to work with the mod. So please bear in mind also, the GDEMU version I am using with the firmware is 5.15. So, um, and I will indicate all that information in the video and in the descriptions above and below. Uh, so let's make a start of this. What else is well, so you need the Dreamcast, as I said, you need the board itself. So this is the GDEMU, so that is the SD card slot within that. And that is the GDEMU. So nice and neatly, we'll put that down there for now. You need a crosshead screwdriver. It also comes with little pegs, and these pegs are to clip down onto the main board. We'll show you that in a while. Later on in the video, I'm going to show you how to actually back and uh, put backup games onto the actual uh, micro SD card. Okay, so let's start the mod. And what you're first going to want to do is flip it over on its side. So turn the Dreamcast over. You need to take this off first. This was for the modem, just the line in. That should clip out, it should slide out like that. There we go, it slides out. You can put that aside also. So that gives you access to the four screws you need to take off. One, two, three, and four. So I'm gonna do that right now. So that's the four screws taken out. Turn it over on its side, and then this should simply lift off like so. And what I do is I leave the lid of the Dreamcast aside for now, and now you can see visibility on the main board itself. Okay, a couple of things to note here. This is obviously the drive we need to take out, and we are going to replace that with this board. Okay, so you need to get your Phillips head screwdriver again, and there's another three screws you need to remove from the GD ROM drive itself. So one, two, and three, and they need to come out. So as I said, next what you want to do is you're going to lift the whole drive out cleanly. The full unit should come out and it should come out like that, okay? So you need to take the entire unit out and we place that aside. So now what you should be looking at is this, okay? So what you're going to want to do is push the little pegs in. So this is the top end of the board where the SD card comes out. What you want to do is underneath that, you want to just turn it on the side and then push these pegs right in. Be careful not to strain the board. You just need to be a little bit firm in order to push them through. So then you'll have two kind of propping up layer like that. Now, you do need to give leverage to this side as well. Now, a little knack here. As a temporary solution, what I'm using is you can use a bit of blue tack. You can just prop it up this side as well, as long as you don't touch the actual main board itself. You need to make sure that it's kind of level on all sides. So in this case, I'm using a little bit of blue tack. And then nice and gently, this will slot in here. And be careful not to force the board again needs to be nice and flush into the connection, okay? And then as level as possible here, so it sits up nice and clean. And that's it, that's it fitted. And what you need to do next, it says now you can do this with the lid on or off, but I'm just gonna pop in the SD card. We'll go into the detail now in a moment about how you actually build the SD card. For now, let's just slot that in there like that. And there you go. So I would recommend that you store this. We can keep the screws for the disc drive. And then what you're gonna wanna do is pop the lid back on, flush like that. Now the tray can open, but now you can see when you open the tray, you can see the SD card is in place. Now you can take it in and out of there, but again, be nice and gentle when you're doing that. And click down the tray, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna nice and gently turn it over on its side. Let's put the screws back in place. Make sure you put back in the little modem, click in there like that, 
And there we have it, DDEMU installed on your Dreamcast. So let's test out this bad boy and I will set up the SD cards and we'll go through that as well. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm using a SanDisk 64GB, any of the SanDisk ones are fine, but please bear in mind you do need to format to FAT32 in order for this to work. So there's a program you can use called GUI Format, and the reason I'm recommending you use this program is because some of the brand new SD cards, they don't actually format to FAT32 within Windows, they only format to EXFAT, and basically GUI Format allows you to force the FAT32 file structure onto the SD card. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, you can download that, search it up on Google. Um, as I said, I'll leave the links in the description. So format that, format it to FAT32. So next what you want to do is download a program called GDSD Card Maker, and then just run that as administrator. And basically you can see it's reading my card right now, it's seeing my list of games. So basically what you're doing here is you're adding your games, you're adding your GD ROM copies. Make sure to select the region for free option when you're saving them. So basically there's two little checkboxes here. Check all of these. They will ensure that any of the copies that you have, they don't run into region mismatchers or anything like that. And that's pretty much it. You pretty much select them, you hit save, and once you hit save, they write to the card. So last but not least, Let's launch a game, let's show the GD menu and what it looks like. Just a point to note here, I'm connecting the Dreamcast to my capture card using HDMI connection device from Geico. It's the HDMI adapter. Um, that's connected, as I said, into my capture card. So that's how I'm getting this footage. So essentially, when the Dreamcast boot sequence completes, it loads up the GD menu, as you see here, and it lists all the games that are on the SD card, as I've said. Depending on your file size and the capacity of your SD card itself, you can fill this up with as many games as you want. But for the purpose of this test, I'm going to play Power Stone. So that's a game I recently bought online, and that's a game that would not read via the uh, GD ROM itself. So actually will be my first time to play this game. I finally get to play it. I've heard so many good things about Power Stone 1 and 2 and there's so many games and titles I need to catch up on in the Dreamcast. So it's a new world for me, very, very exciting. What I have noticed as well is improved loading times with the SD card as well. Like I'm getting into games here very, very quickly. I tested some other games that I had played via the disc. I tested Sonic Adventure, even loading up the maps and stuff like that and loading up the levels much, much quicker. So it has an actual benefit from a game loading perspective. So guys, that's it for today's video. I'm actually gonna follow up this video in the near future with some cooling techniques and some heat reduction mods that you can do for the Dreamcast. But for now, the purpose of this video really was to go through the installation of this hardware modification for the Dreamcast. Hopefully everybody enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know if you've modded your console. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.